What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today we're going to look at the Arizona Pro Style Playbook in College Football 25. This is the Brent Brennan offense. He came from San Jose State, was there for about six or seven years before Jed Fish went to Washington, which left the Arizona job opened up for Brennan to go in there and take it over. Now, this is an interesting playbook. It's a pro style offense according to this game, but it's got a, like a little bit of everything. It's got some veer and shoot, spread, pro style. I'm surprised they didn't treat this as a multiple playbook, but either way, we'll go over the formations and concepts and play types and personnel. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have a good idea of what this playbook is all about. So let's start off with formations. Now, the bulk of this playbook is going to be a bunch of shotgun. We're going to get to that last. I want to go to single back first. We got a handful of single back formations. We got deuce close, wing flex close, and wing slot. They're all 12 personnel based. And when you go into a lot of these, you're going to see a lot of the same stuff, just running, play action, things of that nature. But we've got some reverses and whatnot, and I'll talk about those a little bit later. But you got flood trail and dive, you know, just you got some drop back in there as well. You got another reverse play and a little pre-snap motion you go over to wing flex close we got some jet sweep action uh just you know there's not a ton of playbooks that have a single back but it's got enough in here if that's kind of your thing you see here out of wing slot we got more jet sweep stuff i like the jet sweeps they're pretty good in this game i think they toned them down just a little bit if i'm not mistaken after like a couple of patches you just got to hope for you know decent blocking of course but either way it's got some good stuff in there plenty of jet sweep in this playbook that is for sure especially from these single back formations so i wanted to point that out first now you notice you got 15 plays at a deuce close nine out of a uh, wing flex close and you got 21 at a wing slot that's what 30 that's 45 plays out of the single back uh sets alone that's pretty good that's a lot we got one wildcat formation. It's unbalanced. It's six plays. You got a blast. You got a weak version off of that. You got a reverse pass. Then you got a DIY reverse, and you got some jet sweep. So it's got your typical wildcat stuff in there. But notice I've said the word reverse several times already. So we're going to see more of that a little bit later. You got your goal line, Hail Mary, you know, but the rest of it's going to be uh, shotgun. So we're going to spend the bulk of our time here. Starting off with wing tight Z, this is a 13 personnel look. You got nine plays there. You got tight Y off. Notice number 47, he's your number one tight end. That's an 11 personnel set. You got 18 plays there, and then you got double Z close. Doubles Y off. Wide slot left. This is our first veer and shoot formation in the playbook, and there's plenty of it in here. Then you get into Y trips offset weak. Then you get to Y off trips. Then you get to wide slot right. Then you get into trips tied in, and then we have wide. So I wanted to stop here because somebody may be asking, why is some of the uh, veer and shoot stuff mixed in uh, and it's not like together. Well, they do it by personnel. So that's why I keep honing in on the personnel stuff. So this is nothing but 11 personnel. It's when you get to this formations, when it goes to 10 personnel and that is a gun wide. That's like your most classic beer and shoot look outside of, you know, a couple of these slot pl uh, formations, but then you got a wide stack. That's another 10 personnel look wide bunch. And then you get to wide trips and then tray open halfback strong. Now we're getting back to 11 personnel. So it's funny how they throw that back in on the back end because you see 47 out there. Then you got empty bunch wide. That's another 11 personnel. You got your tight end and your halfback. So just notice there's just a lot, you know, we got empty base flex as well. And then we get back to wing tight Z. So if you like a mix a basic shotgun spread stuff with some veer and shoot, this is a great playbook. This is very similar to the Ole Miss playbook. Again, half of it's veer and shoot. The other half is basic spread formations. Nothing too exotic beyond that, but it's the concepts and stuff that gets really cool. I want to highlight a few of these formations, though. I'm going to go over to this formation right here. Y trips offset weak. It's got some really cool stuff in it. Out of the gate, we got 18 plays, but your first three have some uh, motion and it's a series. You got your motion halfback swing. You got a pump and go and you got a Z spot off of that and then when you go down we got some trick plays now i'm not the best when it comes to these i guess it comes down to what defense you're going up against well we can try this flea flicker and see what happens it's a slow developing play i'm sure many people have tried this already but if you got time to throw it you can get an easy touchdown and usually that free safety comes down and just after a while he gets bored and he comes down and he just assumes somebody down low has got the ball but it's just a really nifty play 
and uh, you got a, a reverse pass off of that and read option and it's got a few other things in here as well play action shot stick you're going to see a lot of these concepts over in the concept side especially in terms of popularity but it also has some three goal line plays i think these are really neat if you're around the goal line i suggest you try these out some other playbooks in this game have this little series out of some other formations as well so this play, uh, particular formation just has a little bit of everything. When I mean everything, I mean it really shows a little bit of everything there. Another one I want to point out is when you go to the uh, Veer and Shoot stuff, I suggest you start off with your basic two by two looks like wide, as you see right here. You got 21 plays. This is all your typical uh, Veer and Shoot uh, concepts. Now, when it comes to like what Josh Hyper likes to do at Tennessee, is they like to do stuff out of like this formation. It's an 11 personnel heavy uh, offense, at least what he likes to do with that uh, tight end as like an H back. And there's 24 plays here. So if you got a good tight end, this is what you really want to get into. But I really want to go over to this wide bunch. This is like one of the easier ways to start off with veer and shoot. For example, like RPO zone alert screen. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. We'll go up against just random nickel. And I'm going to move this over to the right hash and this is very simple reading here in terms of this is an rpo we got a screen on the right we got three dudes on the right now there are three defenders over there i ignore it i'm going to move on the other side we have is a little screen uh to our uh, x receiver over there on the far left and then we got two high safety so looking at all this to me it just screams hey just hand the ball off to your halfback and hopefully you can get decent blocking and of course we don't right there but you keep looking here i see that with safety coming down but what's our first look look at the right side they got three defenders we got three guys on that side so i'm gonna ignore it they got one high safety and i'm noticing that corner on the left is off a little bit on our x receiver or technically square if you want to go by the button presses i could take a chance and try to go over here but that can happen as well so in that case what you probably want to do is maybe ignore that guy unless you're on the left hash so you have less field to throw to if that makes sense so here that's a much easier throw at this point but look over there on the right side what do you see i only see two defenders with our three guys on the right so what i can do here see if i can make this work halfway decent and they just shed a block. Either way, we had the numbers there. It all comes down to blocking. You know, that's football for you. But either way, this is another good formation to kind of start off with because the numbers are a little easier to read. So I kind of wanted to point that out. The last formation I want to talk about is this one right here, and it's Trey Open Halfback Strong. It's got some unique stuff in it. It's got a nice little series of motion mesh. You got wheel, you got basic mesh, you got post off that. So if you're a mesh guy, want to throw a little window dressing on top of that, start here. Then you keep on going. We got some weird stuff. We got DIY QB sweep reverse. We got a direct snap reverse on top of that. And I'm going to try to attempt this. Forgive me if this doesn't look good. But sometimes it's just hard to pull this off. Let's see. There we go. It works. So you got to hit L1 as soon as that receiver comes by. Uh, and you got to read this, of course. So it looks like they got more defenders on the right than on the left. So I will probably try to hand this off if he can handle it. And I didn't do that correctly. This takes a lot of practice, and I'm not the best at it. So I'm not going to claim that I'm great at this or anything. What I do want to point out, though, is that it's here. If you lock to the reverses, we've already seen a few other ones in the single back formations. We got plenty of it in here as well. So this formation's got a few other things. It's only got 12 plays in it, but it's got some of the more unique stuff. That, again, I just kind of wanted to point that out to you. Either way, shotgun, think split of Virenju, the other half is going to be basic spread stuff. Now let's talk about personnel. We've already hinted at some of this. Let's start off at the very top, 11 personnel. The bulk of the playbook is going to be 11, as with most playbooks in this game plenty of what you need right here and you got trips versions and you got you know your wide split stuff with a veer and shoot you can go with your empties or all 11 uh, personnel by default then we got 12 personnel we got deuce close wing flex close and wing slot what does that look like to you these are all three of your single back formations so if you like your 12 personnel just go to single back and boom there you go 13 personnel wing tight z if you need that That'd be good for third and fourth and short, things of that nature. 23 personnel, that's just your goal line. But we got a handful of good 10 personnel. This is one of the things I like about this playbook, the versatility in your personnel. So you got one, two, three, four, and you got four total, but it's all of your veer and shoot. 
Okay, so if you want to go just pure four wide, this is where you go. So I like how it's all compartmentalized. If I want to go four wide, I'm thinking veer and shoot. If I want to go 11 personnel, I can go between veer and shoot and basic spread. If I want to go 12 personnel, I go single bag. Does that make sense? It just, it kind of puts things in order in a certain spot. And I just kind of like that. And of course you got your wildcat formation, your, Q, your QB kneel and clock management. So the bulk of this, again, it's 11 personnel, but he got a nice little dosage of everything else. 10 personnel, 13, what have you. Okay. Let's go over to concepts. This is really fun. This is where we can really see what this playbook is all about. Let's start off with the runs and you look at the play counts here. We got roughly 60 basic handoffs. You got uh, close to 60 options and so on and so forth. Let's start off with the run. Out of the gate, you got 21 inside zones. Just like any other spread or pro style or any playbook, honestly, it's going to have inside zone as your go-to concept as it should. This is the most basic run concept in football. You just handed the ball off up the middle, but you got different ways of doing it. You, you know, you got your fake jet, uh, things of that nature. You got a little pre-snap motion, build 10, but it's still, you're just handing the ball off even from your wide sets. There you go. It's just basic handoff stuff there. You go to jet sweep. It says we got two of them, but I think we had a few more than that, but they just kind of group them here. But you got a couple there. You got power nine of these. If you like a pulling guard of some sort, you got different versions. You got power O from under center. You got your quick base, things of that nature. And you got four counters. Not a whole lot compared to some other pro style-ish playbooks. You got one ISO, you got six draws. So if you're gonna do a lot of drop back passing, this is where I suggest you go. And notice we got some QB draws. These are kind of rare in this game. I mean, they're in the playbooks, but uh, just not as many as I've saw in this one. You go to outside zone, we got five of these. You got one sweep, you got four traps. You can kind of group that in there with the powers more or less. You got one wham, which I find funny that they separated it. And then we got these reverses again. We've already touched on a few of these, but this is probably the most reverse heavy playbook I've seen up to this point. But otherwise, it's all about inside zone and a little power if you need it. Let's go to option. Let's start off with load option. Load and speed option is going to be the same thing. Notice the words here, speed option, speed option, speed option. We got five of these. You go to speed, they're the same five. RPO reads, we got 11 of these from the wide sets. Or then you got from your basic gun stuff. Then you got RPO alerts, 17 of these. And what I like, I like the alert uh, out bubbles. Uh, you got a hitch. Anytime you see these alert hitches, you're probably going to have a gun wide formation. And as you can see, here we are. It's just typical veer and shoot stuff right there. So you got a nice little mix of things. And this is just screams veer and shoot when you see stuff like this. But you got 17 of them. Inverted veer, you got one of those. You got 14 read options, just basic read stuff. You got a little lead if you need it with the backside tied in. You got counter option. You got dart read option. I like the versatility. It's not just basic read option across the board. We got one triple, and it's out of a slot if you need the slot receiver involved there. Zone option, that's technically speed option. And then you got three RPO peaks, not a whole lot of those. So the bulk of this is going to be read option and whatever RPOs you enjoy the most. You got just between the reads and alerts, you got close to 30 of them. Okay, let's go over to quick pass. You got two hitches. This is kind of a rare quick concept in this game. And anytime you see that word hitch in the quick pass area, you probably got a beer and shoot playbook of some sort, which is what we got right here. You got two Ohio's, you got one Omaha, and you got a bunch of slants and a bunch of sticks, seven and eight. But when you look at these, it's always a combination of the two. A lot of times, like you see over here on the right, you got slant on one side and stick on the other. You got slants, slot, swing. You go over to stick. What do you have? Spacing switch. RPO built off that. Look, you got quick slant. You got slant on one side and you got stick on the other. So you're going to go back and forth between those two concepts. Unless you really want to get into the veer and shoot and you throw in a couple of those hitch ones as well. Let's go to medium pass. We got a little bit of everything in here. This is probably another reason why they call this a pro style playbook. Just a lot of different things to use out of the pro out of the medium pass area. Starting off, we got six mesh. We looked at some of these already with that pre-snap motion from that one formation we really liked. Choice, 21 plays here. This is common with any playbook that's got veer and shoot uh, formations in it. As you can see here, gun wide stack, gun wide, gun wide stack. Then here's all your rural true veer and shoot stuff. 
So if you got to be a choice fan in order to really like this playbook, in my opinion, if you're not going to use any of this, yes, there's other stuff in here, but there's a lot of choice. So I would get familiar with it if you're comfortable with it. I know it's not the easiest stuff in the world to execute. Like I'm going to go PA slot choice. And I'm here to tell you again, these uh, option routes, you just never know. Uh, it just takes a lot of practice and hope that your receivers make the right reads in terms of the coverages. So if a slot receiver is supposed to go on a go or a post, he sees cover two, you just got to hope he call, he runs a post, just things of that nature. So you got a bunch of them there. You got 15 curls. Just think any curl or hitch. Now, when you see the word hitch, again, think veer and shoot. Look, gun wide, all hitch. Gun wide, all curls. They're just really big on the hitches and such. You got plenty of them in here. You also got seven double moves. You got seven drives. Think uh, with a dig with a drag underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and just select one. We'll do one out of one of the veer and shoot formations. Let's see. Go over here. I'm guessing he's going to be open. Yep, wide open. Pretty easy stuff there. Some people have a hard time reading these. Like You can't see the entire field when you're doing a veer and shoot formation and you still can't see where everybody's at. Like I'm going to get sacked on purpose. I just wanted to show you that. I, yes. I kind of understand why it could be hard to do that. If you really struggle, uh, kind of seeing who is where and what you still may want to try this, uh, for a while, if you're really into the veer and shoot, it's a little bit easier to see where everybody is at, and then you can make a plays accordingly. Again, it's just up to you. So you hit the down arrow on your directional pad a couple of times to get to this spot. You hit the up arrow to go back to your normal view. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. Okay. So we got plenty of drive. You go over to levels. We got six of these. So levels and drive is kind of the same thing. It's just another dig with a drag underneath it. A lot of times it's typically like an in route instead of a drag, but it's still kind of the same concept. You got Salem, three of those shallow cross, only one. You got one slot cross and you got a bunch of smash and it's going to be a wide variety here. You're going to see slot fade. You're going to see classic smash. You're going to see some corner stuff. Again, the smash is like the biggest concept medium pass wise in the game and they kind of just group them all right here you got eight spots but if you think of this if you think of the spot route it is a hitch in the grand scheme of things it's still a hitch so it doesn't shock me that it's in here in a bunch of these veer and shoot formations when you see that little hitch route you're probably thinking of that spot you got texas you only got two of those okay so out of all those we can go back real quick it's going to be choice it's going to be curl and you got some drive and levels that's going to be your main stuff along with some smash Media or deep pass, we got 11 verticals. Pretty typical in any playbook, you're gonna have a good uh, handful of these. You got four divides, you got 10 floods. If you need to flood one side of the field, you have enough stuff here to work with. And you've noticed a lot of it's trips based. Gun trips tied in, gun Y off trips. It's just easier to flood if you're in a three by one look, but not at all the time. You look at single back deuce close, it's a two by two look. Shot plays, you got 16 of these. Kind of go with those verticals, more or less. You got 10 switches. Anytime you're thinking of the word shoot with run and shoot, beer and shoot, you're going to see switch. You're going to see that post and backside wheel somewhere in this. I like this PA shot wheel. You only got three routes to look at. So I'm going to let's go over to the middle of the field. That may make it a little bit easier. Let's go right here. And you only got one side of the field to read. Looks like they're going to cover zero, possibly. No, I'm seeing a cover one. Can you get that? Nope going to be almost an interception either way you gotta enjoy switch if you really want to deal with this playbook there's just a lot of it in here you got 10 of those you got five comebacks you got two daggers five double post three meals and a couple wide crosses so the big here is verticals obviously think shoot you're going deep a lot you know four divides you got 10 floods it just and switch that's probably where i would start with if you really want to go deep a lot Play action pass, as we all know, there's a lot more play action in here to what this is going to show. It says we got one boot and some slides. We'll look at that here in a little bit later in the play types. Screen passes, this kind of gives you an indication that anytime you're dealing with a veer and shoot playbook, you're going to have a lot of screens. But these are some of the RPOs we looked at earlier. And then you go over to flanker screen. We got more RPOs. We got a tight end middle screen. Um, trap alerts, just really neat stuff, a nice variation. And you got a halfback screen, a slip screen, but if you go over to play type, you go up to pass, and you go over to screen, we got 19 total screens, and that doesn't include your RPOs. So this playbook is very heavy on your screens. I suggest you really focus on that. 
as long as you throw in your RPOs with this, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. Now let's go over to play action. There we go. That's a little bit more like it. We got 50 plus play action plays in this playbook. This is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be running. You're going to do a lot of play action off of that. And you can treat your RPOs as play action if you want to. It's just kind of another version of it, but with the ability to run the ball. But still, just a ton of play action. With all that single back, with all the gun wide stuff, you have to do a lot of play action in this playbook. I suggest you use it. There's too much of it in here. Standard pass and just stuff we've already seen before, honestly. Uh, but I want to go over to run. This is just another way of looking and see what you got here. Inside handoff, we got 40 plus of those. 12 outside handoffs. A pitch, we got four counters, six draws, a fullback run, and we got six QB runs. This is another thing I want to point out. We got enough QB runs in here that I think you'll, li you'll like. Blast week, some of these are out of Wildcat, but not all of them. Again, if you like to run your quarterback just directly, very simple, you got enough of it in here. You go to options. These are all your speeds, leads, and reads. Only 22, so this isn't like a big part of the playbook, but it can be if that is your thing. There's more than enough in there. Let's just put it that way. And your RPOs. We talked about that earlier. This is a very screen-based uh, pro-style playbook, and all these RPOs are really going to add on to that. More than enough in here. And that's pretty much it for the playbook. Just think it's called pro-style, but it's a lot of spread. It's a lot of veer and shoot. It is some single back to go in there with it. It's just a hodgepodge of things. And it's if, if you're unsure what you want to run, this would be a good playbook to use. Because, again, it's just got a little bit of everything. And it's got some really fun stuff on the back end, like those reverses and flea flickers and such. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.